Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to be looking at MySQL uh, Workbench, and we're going to be using uh, version 6.3, and that's to um, to do an import of a large data set. Uh, the key is the import, not the large data set. But I just wanted to let you know that that's what I'm that's what I'm working with currently. Um, I'm going to be importing data from uh, the NPPES NPI database, and that's um, the in America there's a it's a national pro, national provider information so it's all the doctors so it's a very large data set and I'm gonna be I want to use that for doing some performance testing later on some database replication but in this case we're gonna just I'm just gonna show you how to import it and it's actually fairly easy it's a little bit of a hidden gem too so I have my database tables filtered and you can do that by doing filter this schema uh, and that's nice because you don't have to look at the various things going on. So the hidden part of this is that if you right click on, let's see, I think it's, uh, yeah, it's just the air table data import wizard. Okay. So you can click on the database or you can click on tables and it's the ta table data import wizard. You can't find that in these menus. At least I haven't been able to. So if you have, uh, let me know. So the data I'm going to be uh, working with it, I downloaded, it's in this data set here and you can see the the, the provider file is uh, 20 megabytes I think that's it M no so NPI data P file yeah 7.2 gigabytes so it's a giant file so I'm gonna work but today I'm just gonna do this other name and that's a little bit smaller that's 21 megabytes and what that is is that's as you as you'll be able to see here it's just these various companies throughout the US that are related to but not uh, not medical providers so I want to get I want to get the um, oops I closed that window so I want to get the path name for it and let me go and get that and I'll come right back so to get the path name I'm just gonna right click on that and I'm gonna do copy this so I don't have to type it in and I'm just gonna paste it right like that so that's the whole file there it sits in my home directory and downloads and then just click next and then here's the a, the uh, important part is you can use an existing table. So in my case, that would work because this table is already set up for the right number of fields. But say you have a large data set um, and you don't want to, sorry, I try to remember, I'm gonna try to remember to magnify. So you could use an existing table, like I said, and uh, but it has to have matching fields and they have to be matching in name and type. So you have to have as many fields and they have to be type appropriate. So what if you have, so the main data set for this is rather large and got a few different data types. So I'd have to set that up, but it'd be, it's easier if you just do a create new table for the first, you know, the first time you're bringing in the data set, create a new table. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna name this table and we'll just call it temp data two because I already did temp data. So then all I have to do is create next and you can also see there's a drop table if it exists. And I'm going to click on next and you'll see what it's done is it's given us some import settings so let's take a look at these so it goes through and if you have a header line it's going to so if your first line of your data set is um, defines these columns it's going to use those for your columns otherwise it'll use your first set of data so pay attention to that and you can see as it's inferred data types so in my case it's picked two ints and text so that's actually suitable and it's given us a sample of how the data is going to look when it's imported. So as this is a fairly simple data set, it's going to work out real great. So I'm just going to click on next and you'll see it's got two steps, prepare, import and import data. But all you have to do is click next and you'll see I've started importing the data. Now this takes a while. You'll see it's not even, it hasn't even moved yet, um, but, the, but it is goat working. So you can see that it's, it's doing the import so far. So what I'll do is I'll just leave that. See that? So it's it's working away. Um, so right now, let me check the time real quick. It is 12 o'clock. It's 12 o'clock on the nose. So I'm going to pause and I'll let this go ahead and work. And I'll come back and tell you how long it took. So I forgot to check the time, but I do know that the last time I did this, it took about 20 minutes. So, you know, for a file this large, it's going to take some time. But uh, for smaller files, it will be fairly quickly. Uh, I want to show you really quick, there is uh, a show log and basically what this is, um, it will show you, you know, what it does with each record. 
And so that, uh, you know, one of the things it'll do is if there's an error, it'll show you that error here. And then I do believe, I don't remember, but I think MySQL creates a table of the errors or something like that, but there is a way to uh, show the errors. So we'll hit next and you'll see that it's imported 480,000 records and finished. And it's as simple as that. So I'll have two tables now. I'll have the first one that I did. Um, Oh, and uh, that's the one thing you have to do is you have to click refresh for that table to show up. That's why it wasn't there at first. And then now I have my two tables and let's just do a select rows and you'll see it looks very the same except for the data two there. And you'll see it successfully imported our records. Um, so this is a great tool if you're building a data uh, database and you have existing CSVs because a lot of the uh, headers are gonna be taken care of for you. Um, and a lot of the table structure will be taken care of for you. So I uh, hope this was helpful. I know I'm working with, and I've worked with CSVs a lot in the past, so it tends to be something I come across. Um, now it's a lot more JSON stuff, but that's okay. And, um, you know, stay tuned. There'll be more uh, MySQL videos as well as, uh, as other technologies as well. So thank you for viewing the video and please take a moment to subscribe and click on the alarm bell so that, you, that you're notified of new videos and have a great day.